What's going on guys? This is Subhome Saint bringing you another review this week and this week I'm bringing it on the Evic DTC Mini by Joy Tech. Now this was sent to me by Gearbest for the purposes of this review so definitely go check them out. I will leave a link in the description. About this device, now this was originally a 60 watt temp control device, single 18650, but it came to me from Gearbest already upgraded 75 watt temp control device single 18650 and I've been vaping on it like crazy I mean it's just a great device now it comes in an array of colors it comes in black white cyan red gold and gray so you definitely got your color options and it only goes for $32.99 $32.99 for a 75 watt single 18650 device that does temp control and works just flawlessly so that is just that's great now without talking about it anymore i say we get down to the nitty and the gritty come back to uh facetime after i walk you guys through the screen and we will give you the pros and the cons about it other than that let's do this all right guys here we are with the packaging of the evic vtc mini nice little box here Joy Tech. Right here on the back. Got your features, what comes in it, colors, color options. Mine's checked black because obviously mine's black. Let's go ahead and slide her on open. And there's your device. Your device sits right in there, nice and snug. Lift up under here, and you have your warranty card, user manual, and your USB charge cable and upgrade cable. So that's always good. Let's move this to the side here, and we will get into the device. Here's the device. Nice finish, nice finish. I haven't had any problems with this chipping or scratching or anything like that. It's got their nice little logo right there. It's not real big, bold, anything like that. Evic VTC Mini here. Spring loaded 510. Nice clicky buttons. Here's your USB port for your firmware upgrades or charging. I do not recommend it for charging. I never do whenever you're charging in a device. Here you go. You got a nice magnetic plate here. Magnet right there, magnet right there, magnet right there, and magnet right there. You got a nice little pull tab here. Pop your battery out. And right here you got your plus and your negative. Nice spring loaded. Well, you just put your battery in there. can't put your battery door on backwards so you don't have to worry about that just it, it won't do it now you can, you can pull your back cover off like this or you can pull it with this little tab right here with your thumbnail I don't have thumbnails as you guys can see I chew on them like crazy so I just pull it off like that easy but it's really really strong magnet so you don't have to worry about it popping off now it's five clicks to turn it on or turn it off you have your wattage your ohms your amps your voltage your puff counter battery meter all pretty standard pretty standard now in order to lock your keys push the plus and the up and the down and your key lock right there so you can't can't change your wattage or anything you ain't gotta worry about that do the same to unlock to go into stealth mode get back out of it just hold them down stealth off press the fire button three times to go through your modes in order to change it you just up or down it's bypass mode nickel mode titanium mode stainless steel mode and back to wattage mode Alright guys, let me talk to you guys about how you lock your resistance. What you have to do is, is you have to go into 
temperature control mode. Click five, three times. It'll flicker. Press the right. Press the right. You're in nickel mode. Press the fire mode when you're in nickel. Press it three again three times. One, two, three. Press the left button all the way until you, you know, you can adjust your wattage this way when it flickers. Then you can go switch back through there, get to your resistance, unlock it, lock it. That's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much all that I can walk you guys through. Takes some getting used to walking through the screen, but it is relatively simple. Go ahead and switch it back to temp mode. Or not temp mode, but wattage mode. And we will go into FaceTime Vapor on it, talk a little bit more about it, guys, and let's do that. Alright, guys, that was the nitty and the gritty of this EVIC VTC Mini. Now, my pros and my cons about this device. The pros, it just feels phenomenal in the hands. It just fits perfectly. I got small hands, so, you know, small devices kind of cater to my hands. But anyways, it just it feels nice. The menu screen is clear. It's got everything I need to know on it. Single 18650. The battery door just pops off so easy. Pops right back on. It's strong. It's not hard to get off. Just nice clicky buttons. Just I love it, man. I mean, it's a great little device. It's performed flawlessly for me. I mean, I really have not had any problems with this device at all. Um, it is... Um, it is a bummer about single 18650 batteries just because you just don't get the battery life. But other than that, I mean, I really don't have any cons about this device. I mean, it's just, it's small. It's, it's, I love the finish on it. It's just, everything's perfect about this device. I really like it. It's just, it's great. The Joy Tech makes great chips. So, you know, I really can't complain about it. I mean, it's worked in temp mode. It's worked in canthal mode. It's worked stainless steel. It's titanium. It's, I mean, for $32.99, I mean, this is a great little, great little mod. Great little mod. I would not, I really don't have any problems with it. The screen don't get scratched up easily. I like that because, you know, I hate when you get a device in the mail and the screen's already scratched up or something. And you, it's just, it's, it's ugly, man. Especially when you buy a brand new product. Now, since they sent this to me, it's just... I love this thing. I mean, this thing's just worked out great for me. Um, Joy Tech makes great chips. They've really, really upped their game with their temp control chips. So it's a really, really, really good device. Now, man, before I gush about it anymore, um, I really don't have any cons about this device. I mean... Just the single 18650 things, just not not for me because you know I'll be changing batteries out left and right. Um, great though, I mean it's just look at that, look at how small it is. It's just so ah, it's so cute. But anyways, guys, um, wanted to kind of give you guys a little update on my channel. Um, I will be making changes to my channel. I will be getting rid of this whole backdrop thing and you know putting in shelving units and all that and making it look more of a professional more vape more vapey if that makes any sense um definitely always constantly looking for improvements i definitely want to keep on continuing to make improvements on my channel because you know i want to give you guys the best information that i can give you and that about covers it guys i mean i'm hoping i'll push out two videos a week now because i'm kind of getting ahead since christmas has passed you know i've kind of gotten ahead on my vape stuff and purchases and all that so you know i am kind of a little bit ahead so i am hoping to up at the two videos a week um other than that guys i hope you guys have a great week and hopefully i'll see you sometime this week never know gotta be on the lookout all right i'll see you guys later and remember you want your devices the nitty and the gritty what other place do you go to than SOS Sub Ohm Saint? So I will see you guys next time.